Hello, fellow readers. Week three of Reading Through the Bible in One Year. Congratulations. I just want to talk a little bit about what I've learned so far. And so what we have learned applies to our lives today. And God has a lot to say in his book. So the story of Joseph, like I've heard it a million times in Sunday school and whatnot. Um, but this time reading through, I got something new out of it. I noticed how everything bad that happened to Joseph was not his fault. You know, it was somebody else who did wicked things to him. His brother did wicked things um, by throwing him in the well and then selling him. And then Potiphar's wife did wicked things by lying about him. And then the cupbearer did wicked thing by forgetting about him. And so it just reminded me how we have an enemy and an enemy working against us, right? And so God's plan is not to have the enemy win so much, right? That's not God's plan. So when bad things happen, that's not God's plan because God's not cruel. But these bad things happen to Joseph. And then it always says, but God was with him. And so he became prosperous. And each place that he was, even when he was in prison, he became the number one person in Egypt, right? Because God's always with you. And he can make all things good.